I'm here with Life Christian Haugen. Wait, what's your new last name now? Nestvol Haugen. Okay. I got the most difficult name to pronounce now. How does that work? Well, in Norway, it's getting more and more common that, you know, we combine the name of the wife and the husband, you know? So, okay. you know, which for in our sake, you know, it made sense to, you know, that our son has both of our last names and so on. So, that's cool. Yeah. Right on. Well, congratulations on that. But today, we want to talk about culture. And on the Norwegian ski team, it sounds, oh, by the way, welcome to, to Dodge Ski Boots Chairlift Chats. <laughs> That's Except what we're are. not on the lift, but we're, we're pretending we're on the lift. <laughs> totally, totally. We're gonna be in a car at some point in this journey, and then the audio will probably be a lot better. <laughs> well, you have this nice little furry thing up here that makes it like, I know, not sound like it's windy. This way? Yeah, wind okay. Here. And did I say that we're in Narvik, like this amazing, epic place? Yeah, look what we're walking toward. I don't know if you can see the mountain. Um, this amazing place in Norway where we just spent the last week. Yes. Okay, so focus. Now, tell me about, what do you guys, what do you think of culture on, on the Norwegian ski team? Well, I think, uh, first of all, we are a bunch of really good friends. We actually like to hang out even when we're not racing each other. Okay. So I think that's a good, good way to, you know, help each other perform, you know, in, in, like, instead of the, the opposite, you know, if everyone hates each other and you're traveling 200 days a year together, that would really make for a bad... Uh... Totally. <laughs> and some people have that struggle where they, like, don't get along that well. And yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's just a battle. We actually do really get well along. Oh, I think this is the place. Okay. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Avis. Avis. Well, life sorts out the rental car, we are going to show you some epic footage the last couple days. <laughs> wow! What a view up here. Yeah! No way, we love you. We're going down there to that thing. Yeah, buddy! We are the luckiest people in the world right now. So perfect! Yeah, buddy! Freaky buddy! Are you kidding? Wow! Woo! <laughs> yeah! My leg! <laughs> that snow is so much better than I expected. I know, you were right around stand up like, is that really possible to go that fast? <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for this. Ah, oh, that was awesome. I was a little sketched for, for because I didn't know how the snow was. Boys ready? Boys ready? Hit it! Yeah! Woo! Hope you guys liked that epic little footage of us the last few days. Where were we? We talked about culture, Norway, and how we're such a good group of friends. And uh, so it's gonna get into further into like, we, I mean, not only are we friends, but also, you know, we generally want each other to succeed and help each other. You know, it's, yeah. for us as a team, you know, it's better that Can you we, guys hear the screeching? They're cleaning off some, some poop on the side of the car. <laughs> some seagull poop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, and you know, we kind of also look at it this way, you know, it would be better, like, if we don't have a good day ourselves, that some other Norwegian as well, rather than another competitive, com com yeah, competitor, you know, com okay. country. How do you create that, though? I think it's it's just kind of culture that, like, goes down through generations, you know, it started out with Hughes Amat, Fudeset, that gang, kind of planted into our genes, you know, that it's like, you know, that's the right thing to do, and... Uh, you don't really think about it, you know. Do you think that that has something to do with why you've scored? Why you guys? Would you? What did Norway get? Like thirty medals in the last Olympics? Thirty-eight. Oh, so thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Yeah. And how many of them were snow sports? 
a lot of them. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with it? Is the Nor Nordic side like that too? Well, I think, you know, it's it's a winter country too. So it's like, I mean, the, the, a thing here is, what I like to talk about too is that when people ask like, why is Norway doing so well in winter sports? It's, if you look at the US, where go do, where does the best sports talent go? I mean, they, yeah. look, they, look, they look at like, who's the coolest guys? Who do they look up to? And that's football players, soccer players, back at basketball, hockey, like skiing comes pretty far down on the list. <laughs> So Touché. obviously you don't you don't necessarily get the best talent, athletic talent. Uh -huh. Well, then you look at Norway. Our heroes are Nordic cross country skiers number one. Then you have alpine jumping, um, snowboard, freestyle, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but still we still have like a lot more. I don't know. There's a lot of different pieces to this puzzle, no question. Yeah, but but you know it's just culture the whole way through. It's like it's a winter sports nation, and like you know. You're appreciated a lot more. I mean, you're like your acceptance if you're killing it in the sport. It's like so much higher than anything else in Norway. I mean, you could do well in business, but you won't get the same acceptance as or like acknowledgement as if you're like killing it in the sport. Okay. It's weird how that is. But, but do you guys have like team building camps? How do you get that oh yeah. camaraderie? Yeah, we train all summer together, and we you do. Yeah, and okay. we, we learned this, you know, that like training together also it's you know pushing yourself on the gym if you're by yourself. It's not as easy as if you're a full group, like, you know, in the room, no sweating together. You know? yeah. I guess that's the end of our trail of chat.